Good evening, some guy dude here, and welcome to Let's Play Alchemia. This is a Source Engine mod game that is a fan creation of Silent Hill. When I say of Silent Hill, I don't mean it's a remake of the first game. What I mean is that it is made in the style of, in the world of, in the aesthetic of Silent Hill. It has been, it was in, um, it, it was in beta version for like a while, but it just recently got, within the past, I think, it, it's, uh, two days ago as of my recording this, it got dropped down as full version. I had heard briefly that there was an Oculus version of the game. There apparently isn't, which kind of sucks, but that's fine, because I will take anything Silent Hill that seems to hold the spirit of the original. So, let's just get started. New game. <coughs> Dying. Silent Hill. Alchemia. I assume it's Alchemia, not Alchemilla. I don't really know. Ooh. Uh, what happened? What am I doing here? Fair question, my friend. First of all, where's here? Well, if it's... <laughs> what am I doing... Why am I waking up in my bedroom? Why would this happen to me? Anyway. Alright. What do we got? Oh! We got an eyeball. Got a key to my room. What's that? This is the last day I'll spend in my old room. Too many bad memories hold up in here. Tomorrow I'll be in Ashfield. I don't want to sell the house. I don't want strangers living in it. I keep having this feeling like I'm going to leave something important here. Like I'm forgetting something. Oh, my nose is itchy. Okay. We got a lot of stuff here. Calendar? What about that thing? Okay. This game has a very loose definition of what I'm trying to look at, so we'll just sort of... What's this? What's that? Like, right now, nothing. I would like to look at the thing! That's fine. Now it's open. Did I lock myself in my own room? How did I get into this room that I locked from the inside? I will say, this looks really nice. Like, this looks amazing. It just, ugh. Silent Hill was my game when I was a kid. I mean, Silent Hill was how I cut my teeth on horror. I mean, I had played... And I'll be exposing my age here. You know, I had played phones not working, re like Resident Evil, uh, a couple of, like a year or so prior. I think Silent Hill was I think ninety seven. So I was uh, I was in middle school at the time. And uh, there was Alone in the Dark on DOS. There was like Seventh Guest and Phantasmagoria, and there were there were other horror games. Silent Hill was the first time where it was it, it, it felt less like a game and more like an experience. That first time you're going through the fog and you hear that radio go up. Or like, and, and it was the first game where like you, di you didn't want doors to open because you just didn't want to know what was, in this, what was in there. Good God, this is a dark game. Alright, come on. Door's stuck. Of course the door's stuck. Got some food. Got some food. Food, 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 food. I want some apples. Make some apple sass. This is not a nice house. I mean, it could be a nice house, but it's a it's a fixer upper. You have to do some woodworking if you want to flip uh, flip this house. What do you got? No water. Well, of course there's no water in the drawers. <laughs> oh, there's also no water there. However, there are there's beer. I go with beer. The monks used to use beer during fasting season. And some Choco Bites! Are you kidding? We're good! Put some beer on the Choco Bites and let's have a party! How about the fridge? And, uh, you don't see... Like, people don't do Silent Hill fan games. You don't see Silent Hill fan games. Books, souvenirs, family photos, and other stuff. Especially ones with this much effort. Ugh. I mean, this looks like Silent Hill. This is, this, this is Silent Hill taken from third person to first person. Oh, walking through the fog and everything. Oh, it's, oh, I like it. What the hell's going on here? 
That's okay. I'll just... Don't mind me going back inside. Can I go back inside? What happened? What's going on? Ooh. What is that? That don't look pleasant. That doesn't look very fun. That's not a very good prize. Oh, 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 oh my god. What is that? What is that? Was it like a mouth belly on a bar? Well, <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, that's fucking cool. <gasps> it feels right. This is Silent Hill. Oh, this is awesome. If, if you've never played Silent Hill, first off, what's wrong with you? But if you have, then you know the, the duality of the game was between the light and the dark worlds. Light world was not happy, but it was it was more desolate. It was, that was a loud fence noise. Ah. It was more desolate. It wasn't, um... It wasn't dark and frightening. It was the idea of all this... this place? I believe this is Silent Hill. You know, it was all about... I'm gonna explore around here because you, you never you never know in this in a, in a in a true Silent Hill game you never know what you might find just walking around outside because every so often every so often they'll drop like a key card or a map or something let's just start going around door doesn't have a handle well push it then hum bah hum bah or not. Um, no, I think we're good. Uh, you know, it was, it was the, the two worlds. The one that was very bloody and rusty, and the other one that was more foggy and haunting. Gotta be because of the drugs. Yeah, those drugs, man, they'll sting you. Can I get something? Can I get a coffee? I don't have money anyway. Alright, what do we got up here? Attention all employees. The third story floor is now in critical condition and in need of repair. Access to the stairs is temporarily prohibited. <clears throat> if there is an urgent need to use the stairs, then a key can be found either with the construction team who are currently at work repairing the third floor, or with the doctors. I don't recommend using the stairs unless it's absolutely necessary. If I can't use the stairs, and the construction team's on the third floor, how am I gonna get the key? Well, that seems like a very self-defeating situation. Ooh, we got some static. Uh, static. If you played Silent Hill, you have a very love-hate relationship with static. What do we got? You'll find a toolbox in the administration room. Please begin repairs on the water pipe immediately. If the cellar fills up with water, it will short out the generator, and there's a patient connected to the medical ventilator. Please hurry. P.S. Check the pipe under the sink in the kitchen. Administration. Okay, so I need administration room for a toolbox. Uh, water pipe, which I'm assuming is going to be in the cellar. And hit up the kitchen. Watch out for shorting the generator. Cool. That works. What's that? I see a shiny thing. I see a shiny thing. Oh, <gasps> flash a light. Uh, that's the other thing. Silent Hill started this idea. This 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 is Silent Hill right here. It was the idea you know, of the walking through hallways with a with a flashlight to light your way. Locked from the other side. All right, we can take care of that. Exam room. I think that's all we got. And that's the thing, like, horror... Oh, it was, the, it was the tile. Horror went through phases. You know, the old DOS, Alone in the Dark. And by the way, if you hear me just spamming the use key, because, well, I'm spamming the use key. Just in case I run into something I need. Oh!
Okay then. That did nothing useful. And what is that? What are you, my friend? Oh! Oh, save spot. I done saved the game. This is actually kind of sad. Imagine like some person just chilling there, just watching a loved one die. Can I grab anything? Grab anything? Anything in here? You know, so a lot of the a lot of the horror stuff that became considered amnesia like traces its lineage. It's all in Russian. Oh yeah, the opening screen is actually in Russian. It's not in it, so I guess that's uh, all right. What do we got? It's screwed tight. I can't loosen it barehanded. A toolbox is not useful if you need a tool to open it. Pro tip. Ching. You know the whole a, a lot of the stuff that later became you know known for as amnesia tropes. The whole running from the enemies because you're kind of helpless. The door's stuck. Well, balls. That all started in Silent Hill. You weren't helpless, but you didn't have a lot of ammo. Oh, I already... I guess we're going through here. Right? Hold on. <laughs> I don't know how many doors are. That's it. Uh, okay, that, that was the only door. We are paying attention. SGD knows what he's doing. I will say, the trailer to this game looked looked amazing. By the way. It used a lot of the cabinet packed with drugs unknown to me. Won't touch it. Okay, no drugs. That's a little lame, your bid. All right. If you're gonna be like that, I wanted to start the party up, man. If you're gonna be just, you're gonna be a narc, a square, or some bullshizzle. You know, like like the the, the trailer really prominently featured the nurses, which. By the way, that's the other thing with Silent Hill is that all the other stuff we know of from Silent Hill sort of came from the second one. Like, all your pyramid heads and your sexy nurses and mannequins and stuff like that. That was all Silent Hill 2. But that's alright. Bring them on. Because I haven't squealed like a baby in far too long. Door's stuck. Alright. Phone's not working. That was the other thing with Silent Hill, was it was exploration based. And this is... Need a key. Alright. Burm, burm. Kitchen. It wasn't just about... It wasn't just about, like, um, scavenger hunting per se. I mean, it was. It was, it was largely about finding fridges and working. I'm on a bucket. I'm on a bucket. I'm on a bucket. Balls pop out of my mouth for Mr. Bucket. That's a commercial people might not know. Got some knives. It was about exploration. It wasn't just running around looking for a key. You really had to look at your whole surroundings and kind of see what uh, what there was. That's a meat grinder. And it w Well. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh god. We're just gonna put that right there. <laughs> okay. Relax. Can I do anything there? This is starting to bug me that the eye is popping up and I, I don't have any, like... And I can't actually do anything. <sighs> you know, you really had to look around at your whole environment. And the game let you do that. Although there were enemies, they gave you... It was like this perfect balance of being chased by enemies and having to run from them with being able to stop, you know, take stock of your surroundings. Okay. And that's the thing, like... Horror Let's Plays get sort of a bad rap, and it bugs me. Because there's this notion of... Horror Let's Plays are just... Oh, We'll get right back to that. Report number 15, July 12th, 1980. I assume 1980. Could be any 80. Tests of preparation number 7833D3C White Claudia. The new... Mm. Mm. 
The new psychoactive preparation causes extensive hallucinations and paranoia in the patient. The patient sees everyone as enemies and even perceives the names and the, of the doctors and nurses to read monsters. Suffers from a distorted perception of the physical world, acts aggressively towards other people. Furthermore, the preparation increases the blood pressure and practically doubles the heart rate. These symptoms may result in cardiac arrest. Preparation number 7833D3C has been denied approval for further use. Now, how does that tie in with me? I'm assuming that's going to explain somehow. Oof. What? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh! <laughs> what killed me? What was that? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I was in the kitchen. <laughs> Did you get me? Was that you? Was that you, garbage can? How about you, cobweb, cobweb file cabinet drawer? How about you, old chair? How about you, coffee cup? How about you, bad phone? How about you, pencils? What the fuck killed me? Okay, I'm officially on edge now. Wonderful. What's outside? Is there anything outside? I was, I was actually about to say how weird it was that I hadn't actually seen any monsters yet. That's out. Oh, that's just outside. So that would make this the door with no handle, right? Okay. I was gonna comment on the lack of monsters, and then all of a sudden I just died. Don't have any money. Okay. The elevator's out of power. We gotta turn the power on. It's in the director's office, so let's hit. The, uh, let's hit this one. Of course we're gonna go in the basement. Why wouldn't we go into the basement? Oh, the basement's flooded. Alright. Whoa, shaky. Keypad. Elevator doesn't have power. I was, I was, I was just about to, I was just having this moment of, well, the game's very atmospheric, but it's sort of not dull, it's just more, more explorative and not, and not scary. And then all of a sudden, bing, bang, boom. I don't know what it is, but it looks broken. It does look broken. It looks like somebody had a hard time fixing it. It's over here. Knobs and dials and twiddles and twatters. Something's missing here. I bet that's something I'm gonna find in the toolie box. <sighs> so, some boxes. Got some boxes. I don't know what this is, but it looks broken. It would be. St it would be. St I would be stupid to touch it while standing in water. I'm actually glad it told me that. I was about to do that. I was right on the verge of doing that. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. I saw, I saw in my eye, I saw the eye. I saw the eye. Come on. Give me a thing. Give me a thing. Alright, I think... I think that's all the rooms. That seems to be everywhere that the game will let me go. This was just... Yeah, this was the room with the missing thing. That's the room with the missing thing. Got the high voltage over there. These other doors are locked. Or stuck. 
That isn't the that's right, the electric lock. So I gotta find stuff upstairs again. Alright, well. We're at the 20 minute mark, so I'm gonna cut this video here. If it turns out that it's short enough to put back together, then I'll just smash it all into one video. This is very cool. This is very cool. This is one of the most polished horror games I've played in a while. And it was a f and it's a fan mod. And the, as always, there's gonna be a link to this in the description. Check it out for yourself. It's very cool. Uh, link to my Twitter. Hit, hit the like button if you enjoyed this. Join me for the next one. But until next time, SGD out. <laughs>